Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Hundreds of people celebrated Dr. King's birthday by taking part in a march on the South Carolina State Capitol. As 7 News reporter Dave Jordan shows us how King Day at the Dome brought people from all races together to honor his legacy. Martin Luther King Jr. would have been 87 years old this year. He was assassinated when he was just 39 years old. Activists say it's important to keep his message of equality and civil rights alive. King Day at the Dome started with praise and worship inside Zion Baptist Church, all in honor of the man who changed the course of this country. That he gave, paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we all may have freedom, that we all may be uh, service by our constituents. The services lasted about an hour and then it was time to march. We felt it was very important that we come out here and we show our support for everything he stands for and everything that we stand for as well. The crowd of people filed down Washington Street and then on to Maine. White, black, young, old, male and female, all united with the same ideals Dr. King spoke about more than 60 years ago. We're making a lot of progress, making a lot of strides, but there's more work to be done. And um, if we continue to keep on the same path that we're on right now, I'm sure we'll get there. But at the Capitol, there was some talk of regression and a concerted effort to reverse course in favor of policies King protested. Dr. King said, he says, of all the inequities and injustices in the world, the most inhumane is to deny someone health care. And here we are on the brink of people trying to take away health care from 20 million people. We should never allow that. Outing says King's activism and messaging still resonates. What he said then is just as important now, is just as needed now as it was then, probably even more so. Several speakers at today's event referenced President-elect Trump and the incoming administration. They also encouraged the crowd to continue working toward Martin Luther King Jr.'s vision of America. In Columbia, Dave Jordan, 7 News. Now, several upstate cities are also marking the day. The opening ceremony for Spartanburg's Day of Service was held this morning. The community is partnering with the United Way and other nonprofit organizations to hold Martin Luther King Jr. Day events. Speakers at the ceremony said giving back is important. It's very eye opening for people to understand really like the severity of the decisions that they make and how quickly they have to make them. And that group's been hosting events all day. Greenville Technical College students are also giving back to the community. Today, volunteers are working on projects for five different organizations, including the Salvation Army. They spent the morning making sandwiches, toys, and even birthday cards for a man turning 106 years old. For volunteers, today reminded them how important community service is. To see people give back to the community because it just helps it grow and improve more. And the more it improves, um, the more connected everyone will be. It's good for like everyone from different backgrounds to like come together and just like see how everyone's gonna be like more connected and like improve the community and since like MLK is such like an influ influential person and that just like tells like how much he's impacted like history and society. School leaders will drop off the projects to the nonprofit organizations later this week.